Hi Gemini, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your April read. Let's see what are the energies coming towards you Gemini in the month of April and how we can use this reading to have a beautiful month ahead. And of course these are general collective readings, Gems may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Swords and the nine of wands okay so there is uh, okay let's see okay gemini 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 of course head over heart yes it's often movement is coming you're going to you whatever you've been holding back on gemini i think uh, you're going to be giving it one more shot something that uh, you wanted in the recent past but maybe you're still sitting in that lag and feeling oh i don't know i don't know whether i can do it let me just sit and think this is all i'm going to get this maybe i should maybe this is expansion something that you really wanted in the recent past but right now could be feeling a little scared to take that risk to expand i have a feeling um, in april i think you are going to have I mean, the chariot is here as your overall energy gemini i think by april you will have that opportunity to give whatever this thing was one more shot and it's going to take you to success with the chariot so before i clarify these cards of course gemini let's start with the lord ganesha's message for you let's see what lord ganesha is going to say um lord ganesha what do you have for my gems my precious gems, what do you have for them? What advice do you have or a blessing for April? Thank you. Revelation. Okay. That's your card. Revelation. And it is number uh, 15. Okay. I'm just going to go to the book and see what, what is this revelation. Okay. Mm. Number 33. And Revelation says, get ready for key changes in your external and internal worlds. Maybe right now you're just sitting tight and saying, uh -uh, nothing is moving. I'm not going to, da -da -da, whatever, feeling the lack of something. But um, Lord Ganesha says, get ready for key changes in your external and internal worlds. You've come to the end of a cycle and it's time for you to create something new. Through this card, Ganesha is indicating that it's time to break down some of the structures that you've created in your world. This has the potential to feel a little painful and challenging if you resist the process. This is resistance. I'm going to hold tight. I'm not going to move. I've got these two pentacles under my feet, one close to my chest. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to move. I'm not going to move. But yeah, it, uh, it has the potential to feel painful and challenging if you resist the process don't resist it this revelation coming your way is to you no this revelation coming to you may relate to your ego or illusion of separateness from others you will develop a new perspective on things and your revelation will help you grow stronger wiser and more composed you may encounter uh, some challenges along the way but these are necessary for your spiritual growth and enlightenment Honesty will bring about a positive change, even if you experience some anxiety through this process. When you begin to reach your goal, you'll come to realize that your true security and strength lie within yourself and your relationship with the universe, not in some false belief system or artificially created world. Be willing to reveal your truth to those around you. So this is like uh, clutching onto ego or 3d possessions or something like that right a man holding holding tight to the pentacles but yeah it's it's time it's time to re stop resisting the flow of energy so let's also take an angel blessing card gems let's see what my angels are going to say to you uh, and then we'll start the reading so my angels, blessing, guidance, advice or a message. I told you with the chariot card, I mean, it has to lead you to success, right? You have to put down this fortress that you build around yourself. And that's all in your mind. I think in the recent past with the queen of uh, swords energy, it was all head over heart decisions. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to do not do this. It was all very 
mental more than emotional decisions made and that's what's kind of kept you locked in uh, queen of swords in the recent past spirit yeah queen of swords clarified by the queen of swords my god from a different deck this is like really kind of being stern and being this reminds me of my principal in school is like children you have to follow the rules you have to do this and you have to do that uh, maybe that's what's kept you feeling the lack yeah and there is a potential now there is a potential to move towards the ten of cups but resisting the flow of energy is keeping you in heartbreak you yourself are the cause. I'm sorry to say that, Gemini. When you resist the process, it leads to heartbreak. It is painful, yes. And you want something, but you resist opening up and being honest, maybe with your feelings, with your, with whatever, or taking a chance on life. So, Spirit, what's coming up in April? What's the Nine of Wands? Nine of Wands. Even if it's scary, even if it's scary, uh, Gemini, what Spirit is saying, Open your heart chakra. It's time to leave, put that sword down, right? That's what's going to lead you to feeling very, very stable in your life. That's when the security, happiness, long term falls into, the, into your lap. So instead of using the sword, start using the cup a little bit. I do see you still a bit guarded, a bit scared because the king of cups, even though they have a cup of love in the other, well, maybe not a sword in the other, but they do like as a backup keep something solid in the other in case in case in case i need to withdraw my cup so yeah i know it's scary it'll be scary to do this but i would really recommend leave the fear behind give it one more shot to to maybe you want to migrate to another country maybe you want to apply for a job that you never you know applied before whatever instead of sitting in this lack mentality and saying, I'm, I'm, I'm sure this won't happen. I'm sure I have to do things this way. Don't let your ego get, come into the ways of manifesting this beautiful happiness which your soul actually deserves and desires. So Spirit, tell me, what is Gemini holding on to? Gemini, uh, five of swords. This is again, my way or the highway, Gemini. <laughs> This is you. If you're still holding you on to that uh, energy, I think it's time to let that go. You're sabotaging your own happiness. I have to win. I have to do things my way. If I don't do things my way and control others or anything else around me, then I'm not in control, right? So you'll have to kind of leave this. You're still holding on to that little bit of feeling that you have to control, yeah, always guarded, always protecting yourself, trying to be, uh, yeah, and that's what's leading to this inner conflict in your mind right now. That's what's leading to this inner conflict, self-sabotage. This is what is leading to feeling the lack in your life. It's time to let all that go. You're still holding on to this energy, unfortunately. Yeah, see, the four of pentacles again. No, 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 no. I am I know what I'm doing, Omkara Taro. Don't give me advice. Yeah, I'm a strong person. You know what? I have to take care of me. I'm always going to be the strong one around and I'm going to control the narrative of my life. No, that doesn't work. Okay, spirit, so what should uh, Gemini let go of completely? <laughs> I love tarot so much I can't even begin to tell you I just showed you this card, card right being the strong one I can tame a lion if I have to I am I this and I that and I have to always you know hold back from my desires and moving forward mm -mm -mm -mm. let that go Gemini it's time to let that go okay why why is the strength card here spirit why should Gemini let that go yeah it's time just to just have that cup in your hand, not even that other other blunt thing that the king of cups was holding. Be in your childlike innocence. Learn, learn to be, you know tap into the softer side of yourself. Start enjoying life once again. You know, just see what happens. Just see. Just take a few baby steps. Spirit is saying, you don't have to be strong all the time and always be in control. So Spirit, tell me, um, what can become Gemini's biggest blockage, which they must avoid at all costs to have a wonderful month of April? Five of Cups. 
this is like always looking at the past at things which may be hurt you which didn't go according to your plan uh, having sadness regret guilt right always staring at the past and saying well i'm not going to let that happen to me again life is about taking chances uh, gemini uh, if you always walk on your knees you will never be that warrior that you know rides that horse don't always keep looking at the past you have to let that go or, or it becomes a blockage i mean look at this person they're looking at the spilt cups if this person would only turn around there are two full cups waiting to be picked up and enjoyed but the man is so focused looking at the past and saying no no i don't trust anything there behind me i'm just going to stare at what didn't happen for me so i have to always keep myself in this very stern place Five of Cups, Spirit. Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Oh, yes. The minute you turn around, Spirit says, you have everything, my God. Yep, you have a choice here. You, If you, if you st stare at the past, Gemini, you'll always feel the lack. You'll always feel that abandonment, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like you, have, you don't have enough money or enough love in your life or whatever that you're lacking right the minute you turn around and face these two cups highest level of security safety long-term happiness everything is available for you stop focusing so much on the past and trying to control how your life is going to go in the future trust the universe okay spirit let's say gemini does turn around and they say okay i'm not i'm gonna give up trying to control life and I'm going to start enjoying life or being more in my heart space more than my head space how will their loved ones be seeing them the people who really love uh, Gemini and want the best for them their children let's say or parents or you know siblings or spouses who really really love my Gemini how will they be seeing uh, my gems in the month of April Empress, attracting all beautiful things into your life, sitting on a place. And the Empress is like the queen, queen above all queens. And this is not a um, masculine, feminine card. The Empress represents fertility, growth, abundance, coming automatically to this person because they are attracting it. Wow. Okay, Empress. Why will why will, why will my gems be seen? Yes, right, 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 right. See, this is like, this is what you were in the past, sitting grumpy under a tree and I don't want, and I don't know, this didn't happen for me, whatever. And then always looking at the past and then transforming yourself to empress status. All you have to do is turn around. I told you, oh, this is the same card. All you have to do is turn around and give up trying to control everything. You are just self-sabotaging your own future happiness, which is available for you. The Ten of Cups is right there in front of you. The only person holding you back is yourself. So Spirit, you tell me, what's your, what's your uh, secret message to my Gemini for the month of April? Page of Cups, same card same card i love these readings because of this it's just kind of sums it up for me uh, i show i showed this to you right in the past all you have to do is pick up that cup and be in that innocent childlike stage where you start to enjoy life once again reach out to a friend go for a walk do something nice for yourself allow new friendships to come into your life and be the one to take that offer for a change right instead of Okay, Spirit, tell me what's the Page of Cups. This is your card. You explain it. Page of Cups. The choice. Do you keep your sword up or do you give yourself self-care and self-love? And Spirit says, we recommend the cup. We are recommending the cup. The choice is yours. We always have a choice. We have free will. and There's no written you know 
there there is a destiny but we can we always have those moments where we can say no but i'm not interested spirit not now i'm going to control this myself so why is the chariot here spirit as uh, their overall energy oh so it gave me the answer already yeah okay all right so what spirit is trying to say the universe is backing you this time uh, gemini this card was directly under the chariot the universe has your back so don't have any worries instead of standing and blocking your own future progress by not taking action first action that you have to take is walk away from the past the disappointments the hurt the emotional dissatisfaction whatever you've had it's time first to turn your back i mean this this card has come out in different forms in three different ways i think or two different ways like turn your back turn your back come on turn around turn around gemini and you have everything good waiting for you this triumph and success on the other side that's your message for april all right that's what i have for you gems love and light take care namaste